Four times Prophet Bushiri was caught faking miracles. It has become clear that certain so-called pastors will go any length to prove that they have superpowers. They go as far as stage managing miracles and deceiving unsuspecting believers and members of their ministries. One of such persons is the self-proclaimed Prophet Shepard Bushiri, whose bad reputation precedes him. Stay tuned as we share with you four good times Bushiri was caught red-handed stage managing miracles. Despite the shocking truth about him, his church always remains full whenever he holds services. Hello beautiful people, this is Matt Stevens for Niger Home Based. If you're new here, please pause this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also follow us on Facebook so that you'll always receive updates on our latest videos. Shepard Bushiri is a multi-millionaire pastor with a network of churches across Africa. He is the founder and leader of Enlightened Christian Gathering based in South Africa with headquarters in Pretoria. Bushiri has carried out several outrageous stunts including walking on air, allegedly healing people of incurable diseases like HIV. I went inside and the one who was testing me, he tested me. After tested, tested me, he said, you are negative. And above all, raising people from the dead. This is the challenge. Let us come back to life. Back to life. Sure. Somebody shot. Without further ado, here are four times Bushiri was caught faking miracles. Number one, iPad stunts. Bushiri picked a supposed random person and claimed one of his children needed prayers. God. But the devil tried to attack your child. Do you have children? Yes, man of God. How many? However, Two. from the way the interaction went. Perhaps he wasn't such a random person after all. The prophet claimed he wasn't able to pronounce the name of the child he saw in the spirit, so he decided to capture her face in the spirit using an iPad. I'm failing to get the name in the spirit, but wait. Professor, why should I be struggling yet I can capture her in the spirit? Well, he had it all planned out. Who has an iPad? He asked and someone from the front seat quickly pointed unto him. When did an iPad become the device for spirits? Well, for Bushiri, it is. Again, they made it seem like it was some random iPad. However, the scene that plays out next proves it wasn't a random iPad. So, Bushiri tapped the image gallery and selected a photo clearly already saved, claiming the spirit sent the image. Watch in slow motion and notice how we quickly tapped the image gallery The reaction from his congregation is the most depressing part of this whole scam. This is gaslighting at its wicked best. Number 2. Fake angels appearing One of the cheapest stunts Bushiri pulled on his congregation was when he claimed God's angel were in their midst. According to him, his prayers invoked their presence. He asked, have you seen the angel? And only one person answered, yes. Have you seen the angels? The truth is, nobody saw those angels because they were not really there. Number 3. Fake Hand Miracle In a miracle session titled Undeniable Miracle, Lengthening of a Shorthand, Prophet Bushiri calls out a supposed random woman whose left hand was allegedly shorter than her right hand. When he placed both hands together, you'll notice that they are actually the same length. However, he quickly pushed the left hand backwards to prove his point. After all the drama, he prayed for her and repeated the test. This time, he made sure the hands appeared the same length. Look at that! This is incredible! Her left hand is growing! Now, it will become longer. It is going to become longer than this one now. Come, come in Jesus' name. Grow. Come. Just grow. Grow. See, it's becoming longer. Come. Watch what's happening. It's becoming longer now. Grow. If you practice this at home, you will discover that this was a rather cheap and easy stunt. Well, again, his congregation appeared unsuspecting as they celebrated the supposed miracle. Bushiri was indeed having a field day in South Africa. 
Number four, actor implicates him during a deliverance section. Bushiri was back to his old tricks again, pretending to call some random person from the congregation. This time, it didn't work out so well. The man he intended to fake the miracle with confirmed that he had in fact met with the pastor earlier in the day. How many kids you have? Do I know you? Oh, I'm asking. Right. Yeah, we meet before. The... Yeah, yeah, we meet before here. Uh huh. What did we meet? What did we talk? Around two o'clock. Maybe they didn't do their rehearsals properly. I was here today. Pastor. Yes, I meet. I you meet saw Pastor. me. Me, you saw me. Yes, yeah, so you speak with someone today. Ah. You ask me. Put the hands on Jesus. This again. Well, he ended up downplaying the whole scenario, claiming the tell, man tell didn't you, understand tell me English. Tell me language. I was sitting. Put your hands for Jesus. He brought Ask an interpreter of the man's speak? local dialect. Speak? However, where, 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 the man didn't change his stance. Oh, me, this is what time? He said during the day you called him. I met you. He said during the day. I met you. By the yeah. overflow. Was I here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said the way he, he said. While the Bible has stated that those who have faith would be able to do all those things and more, it is imperative to test all spirits as also stated in the Bible. Sadly, many people fall victims to con artists such as Shepard Bushiri, parading themselves as pastors. Those who attempt to ask questions are tagged blasphemers. They most times quote a Bible verse that says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. As of when this video was produced, the South African government is pressuring Malawi, his home country, to deport him back to South Africa, where he is due to face fraud charges. Mr. Bushiri, his wife Mary, and two co-defendants allegedly ran a fraudulent investment scheme which had raked in some 6.6 .6 million US dollars. Bushiri and his wife were first arrested in connection with the allegations in February 2019 by South African elite crime fighting unit known as the Hawks. Mr. Bushiri denies those charges. In a statement he posted on Twitter, he claimed he and his wife fled after years of threats to their lives. He said his request for state protection had gone ignored and that the case against him was persecution and not prosecution. His millions of church members most likely share the same sentiments. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Tell us what you think about Shepard Bushiri's fake miracles. If you are his church member, tell us why you think he's not a con artist.